we are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Hello, everyone. I'm Stevie B. And I'm Showtime. And welcome back to the Nerds of the Apocalypse Nerdy News. The Walking Dead Season 5 has started filming, and they have released their first image. Now, this is not Farmer Rick, people. This is Rip Your Throat Out With His Teeth, Rick. Rumors are coming out that Marvel is looking to have Zac Efron for an unspecified role for an upcoming project. This is speculated to be the Daredevil Netflix show. This brings a whole new meaning to Dancing with the Devil. The era season finale was last week, and during the episode, we got a teaser of the CW's next TV show, The Flash. We were lucky enough to catch The Flash for an interview. Ladies and gentlemen, The Flash! Well, Flash, thank you so much for uh, coming. I guess he expected a quick interview. Catch it this fall on CW. Microsoft and 343 Industries officially announced Halo 5 and is set to release in 2015. If you're asking yourself why another Halo game, it's the same thing as when they announced a new Call of Duty. Look at all the cool changes we made. Yeah, we get it. The dog looks a lot better than the characters. Production for Star Wars Episode 7 has begun. And the slave board took a selfie. Microsoft also announced that they'll be selling the Xbox One without a Kinect for $400. It's available for pre-order right now and will be released June 9th. To see how this change will affect, CVB is nice enough to demonstrate for us. Oh, okay. Uh, one second showtime. I'll be right back. Xbox on. Go to Netflix. Go to Netflix. Oh yeah, Xbox. Go to Netflix. There it is. Xbox on. <sighs> Showtime! Come turn the Xbox on for me. Not your bitch, Steve. Trax! Come turn the Xbox on for me. This Xbox is useless without Kinect. Well, thanks for the help, guys. Oh, you are welcome. Reports came out that Robert Orca will helm the next Star Trek movie. Orca is known for writing the other two Star Trek movies as well as TV shows. With J.J. Abrams not directing the new Star Trek film, I guess we will never go get to see who shot first, Han or Kirk. Last week, George R. R. Martin was on Late Night with Conan O'Brien and talked about why Game of Thrones characters are killed off. Apparently, he says it's the HBO showrunners that are the bloodthirsty ones. You killed those people in your books first, George. I guess all the naked people are HBO's fault, too. The Today Show reported that the Pentagon has a 31-page contingency plan just in case a zombie apocalypse happens. I wonder how many pages they just took from the Walking Dead comics. An eager fan posted on his Instagram a picture of Gail Goddard on the set of Batman vs. Superman in Michigan. Here we see her with a nice hair and wearing the tiara. I wonder if Weight Watchers helped Gal get ready for the Wonder Woman role. In gaming news, Battlefield 4 is finally getting its netcode fixed, thanks to DICE opening up a community test environment. This is normal, apparently, waiting for a game to be made to its minimum potential post-launch. More news coming from Microsoft. You will no longer need Xbox Live Gold to have access to entertainment services such as Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube. The voices of many Xbox users over the internet cried out at once. It's, it's about, about time. time. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you back here next week. And go see X-Men Days of Future Past this weekend. Join us this Thursday night for the premiere at Sand Hills Movie Theater. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Wait, is that how he kills them? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like being weird.